Okay, so for good wood turning, we're going to have good sharp tools. Um, I've developed this grind fixture. It's called the Vector Grind Fixture. It works really well. I used to be the freehand grind believer because I made a grind that I felt was superior and I felt like it could only be done freehand. I used to roll the steel across the wheel like that to get the tucked in back corner. And that was great for a lot of years, but then my students really wanted to be able to do my grind. So uh, they clamored for some kind of way for them to be able to do it. And um, here we go. Uh, this is the steel hold device, and uh, there's no flute up indexing provided within this thing. So um, I made this device here, which indexes the flute up out at the tip of the steel. So the, the reality here is that if you do it right out here at the front end, you can push through and grind every inch of your flute. Other grind fixtures, jigs, don't offer that. So already we're better. And then I found that the rolling action that I did that I thought was going to prevent me from jigging this thing out um, is exactly the same when you go like this. The further down here you go, flute almost against the wheel, the more tucked in the back corner of the edge is, the f almost no catches. And you can cut in different ways. You can cut way back up here on the side of the steel uh, with a handle high and you get a very skew-like cut. It's just a better way to grind, better way to turn. With these wheels, we don't need any setup jig. All I need is a marker mark for my various different lengths of tool that I grind. But for this, we use that one. The two wide pivot points are uh, for the primary edge. The, the reason for the wide is that it helps the wrap the angle that I have on the front right around both sides of the steel. Right hand hole for right hand side of edge, but I roll, I start left of center and roll over the nose like that, lightly. Just a, once over like that and we're sharp. It's a 180 grit CBN wheel and this is an 80 grit. So over here I jump in the hole two. Uh, that would be the first fat grind or relief grind. I like a small rubbing bevel. On a tool, 5 8 tool like this, I do it about an eighth inch long. And on the smaller tools, they're smaller. Small rubbing bevels are much easier to control directionally and a lot friendlier to use with that tucked in back corner. So you saw, I mean, not rocket science, painfully simple. And uh, don't worry about the degree of angle. You don't really need to gauge that or anything. If you've got a gouge that you like the front nose angle on, put it into my system. I provide possibility for two and five eighths inch back set here. And uh, more extension is the other part of what helps the angle from the nose wrap around to the sides. Because the fact is longer extension pushes everything back. So when it lays over, it lays over more and that makes for a usable side of tool. And this device is big enough and or small enough to go from quarter inch steel up through three quarter inch steel. And it's very lightweight, nimble, easy to handle. And then the bench wrench here mounted below the grinder is handy right there. It never gets lost. It goes on the nut. And when I put the steel in, I always line up the flute with the name on the handle because that way there's a little indexing there. There's a little intelligence that's actually communicating to my hand. When I put that bead with the name on it, the flute lined up with it in the palm of my hand, my hand knows where is the flute. And that's good, good information. And the shape of the handles are much easier to hold on to than a a uh, round handle, which almost all tool handles are round. This is a nice, happy, ergonomic shape. Been on screwdrivers for years. I love it for turning tools. And this, the rubber has a little, about a 70 durometer, so it's a little soft to grip. It's just very, very nice tool to use. Balanced because of the lead shot that's from here back, it's full of lead shot. There's a wood plug here that keeps the lead shot when the steel isn't in. 
So it's a nicely balanced thing. It, it, it really uh, works well.